Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to make this cute little mama bear bracelet. It doesn't have any letters or designs stamped on it, and instead I'm going to be using this bracelet to show you how to dap a seat for the crystals to sit in. And this is an adjustable knot on the back. Um, it's made with waxed cotton string. You could do it with faux leather, leather, whatever. Anyway, that just makes it so that you can open and close the bracelet so that it fits on your wrist a little better. All right, before we get started setting the crystals into our little bear, I just wanted to talk to you for just a second about how to set the crystals. So it's not necessary to create a divot in your piece um, in order to glue a crystal on there, but it definitely does help to secure the piece. And it makes it so that any lip underneath the crystal um, sets down inside the divot so there's not really anything to catch underneath. Um, and then also it just it just gives it a nice clean finish if you have a little seat for the crystal to set in. So one way that you can do that is with a dapping punch. This is a number two out of just a punch set that I got from Amazon. You can find them at Harbor Freight. Um, they're really easy to find. So this is a 3.5 millimeter punch. Let me show you what that looks like when I hit this here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to give this a good whack. And you can see that it creates this little, oh uh, gosh, what's the word for it? Concave divot there. It's like a little bowl or a dish. And then this is a nail that I, it's a masonry nail. I filed the end of it, um, used my calipers to measure the tip to make sure that I had it the right size. But since I'm setting a 2.6 millimeter crystal, I just filed this down to 2.8 millimeters. And um, anyway, I just did it round and then I took the end of it and just rested it on some sandpaper and did a figure eight like this until it was nice and smooth. And you can do that with this. You can do it um, so with like a masonry nail or with a um, whatever, sheetrock nail, I don't know. But um, anyway, so this, this is what I'm gonna be using today. So I'm going to rest this on here, give it another hit. I'm just going to give it two apparently. So you can see this one creates a flat seat. And I like that flat because that gives the glue a surface to stick to. That's really nice. So the thing with these is um, you'll, s oops, I'm just throwing crystals everywhere. So this is my 2.6 millimeter crystal. They're so tiny. And this will just sit right into the little divot. It just clicks right in. I don't know. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just mark two holes on each side that our waxed cotton string can go through. I'm just gonna make these uh, not too far apart. I wanna do two holes on each end so that the bracelet doesn't spin around when I'm wearing it. Okay, so I've marked a place for the holes. I'm going to use my two millimeter side of my screw down punch to go ahead and make the holes here. I'm just gonna try and line it up as best I can with the marks that I just made. This has a plastic film on it, this blank does, and I didn't peel it off yet, but that doesn't matter. I just don't want it to get scratched up on the face of the blank before I really get going. Sometimes I have trouble seeing the mark um, and making sure that the pin is going right where I want it to. So I just kind of have to inspect it from all sides and make sure I'm not falling off of the edge of the blank anywhere. So I'm gonna just screw this down until I feel it punch through and then I'm gonna pull it back out here and then I'm going to make my next hole so we're just going to do this four times until I have two holes on each end of the bear so I'm going to do one right here by this foot and one over by this foot I'm just doing this so that I can get them evenly spaced. 
when I spread it out, it divides up in my mind and that helps me a little bit to get things where I want them. Okay, so now I have my four little divots there to seat my crystals in. So, all right, so here's my glue. This is Gorilla Super Glue Gel. And I am going to put the tiniest little bit into this little hole here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm shaking because I'm trying to be so careful. Uh, okay, just a tiny bit because we don't want it oozing out underneath the crystal. I wanna see if I can show you what a tiny amount that is. I don't know if you can see right there by the foot. It's just not even enough to fill the little seat there. All right, so I'm going to take my crystal. I just like to pick them up with my tweezers like this if I can. Sometimes they pop out and fly away, so I have to be careful. I'm just gonna rest this right into my little seat here. And with this glue, pressure activates it, so I'm gonna push it down with my tweezers. You could, of course, you know, use your fingers, but that would be awful. Okay, so for about five or 10 seconds, I'm just gonna press on this. If you don't press on it, they're just gonna pop right off. So you really need to give it some pressure. Okay, so there's my first crystal and I can push on it and tell that it's not going anywhere. And then let's do the next one. So again, just the tiniest little amount of glue. I need new glasses, I can hardly see what I'm doing here. The glue is coming out, but my hands are shaking too much. Okay, there we go. Next crystal. I'm gonna turn this so I don't accidentally rest my tweezers in my glue there. So the glue from the last one has stuck to the crystal, so I'm just gonna move it with my finger. And you can see how it's just slipping around, so I need to press it in there. Whoop, guys, this is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. So I'm using the sides of the tweezers to press it. Um, just so that I don't leave a mark in there. If you don't have these needle nose tweezers, it's not a big deal. You can just use regular tweezers. You just don't want to glue your finger to the piece, right? Okay, so that one's nice and stuck in there. Let's do the next one. The problem if you get too much glue is that it just oozes out the sides and just leaves a mess. all around the crystal. I'm just using the tips of my tweezers to position it where I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mess it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. And press. So I've done mother's necklaces this way. Um, you can do, I made uh, bracelets for my daughter and her friends that matched that had their initials and birthstones on them. So you can use these for all kinds of things. They're a lot of fun. Okay, and our last one. I'm at a really bad angle too, so I feel like I would normally do this a lot prettier, but that's okay. Okay, last one here. You can see that glue kind of oozing out the side. I'll show you how to clean that up. So just press for five or 10 seconds and that will be stuck. I have tried before to use the tip of my tweezer like this to press it in. And then the tip of my tweezer dug into the crystal because I was pushing on that. And, and then it glued the tweezer to the crystal instead of the crystal to the blank so don't do that all right so those are set now all right here's my string it's a waxed cotton string I think this is two millimeter um, I can't remember off the top of my head one and a half or two millimeter and I cut enough that it can wrap around um, the fat part of my hand a couple of times 
it's too much string, but I'd rather have a little too much than not quite enough. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just pick a side of our bear. We're going to come in from the back side through one hole and just pull up a few inches of string here and then back through the front of the next hole so that it hangs like this. And then we're going to take the other end of the string and do the same thing on the other side. So this one, I put the long string is coming out of the bottom hole here, right here. So I'm going to put it back through the back side of the bottom hole on the other side here. And I'm gonna leave this big loop of string. I should have done a lighter background, sorry guys. Okay, and then I'm going to take that same piece of string and put it through the front of the top of the bear here, if I can do it for the camera. All right. Once that's through, here's what we've got. Our little bear has two stripes of string on the front, and then at the back we have a, a loop and then two strings coming down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie an adjustable knot onto this so that it can slide on and off your hand, and um, then you can be able to adjust it. So. adjust this here. I feel like I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it actually is. Okay, so there it is on my wrist. So now I know it fits, so I'm gonna just cut these. Ta-da! All right, so there's my little adjustable bracelet, my little mama bear bracelet. <laughs>